In this video, we'll balance the equation C5H8O2 plus NaAH plus HCl. So this is a hydrocarbon. We have sodium hydride, and then we have hydrochloric acid. So let's count the atoms up on each side. Let's carefully count the atoms up on each side and then balance the equation. So carbon, we have five of those. We have eight hydrogens. But don't forget we have a hydrogen here and here. So we have eight plus one plus one. We have 10 total hydrogen atoms two oxygen atoms, and then one sodium and one chlorine. On the product side, we have the five carbons, 12 hydrogens, two oxygens, and then one sodium and one chlorine. So everything is the same except the hydrogen. So it seems like this will be fairly easy to balance. But because these hydrogens here are all spread out, that makes it a lot more difficult. Why don't we do this? We need to have two more hydrogens here. If I put a two in front of the NaH, I'll have eight plus two plus one, and that'll give me 11. So that doesn't get me to 12. I also need to update the sodium. So I have two times the one sodium, that'll give me two. So now I'm thinking, how am I gonna balance the sodiums later on? Because I have a sodium and a chlorine together. So I only have 11, I need one more. I could change this to three, but if I change this to a two, That'll give me my 12. So the hydrogens are balanced. I have one times two for the chlorine atoms. And this works out really well because I have two sodiums and two chlorines and only one sodium and one chlorine here. I'll just put a two in front of the sodium chloride. One times two, that equals two. One times two, that equals two. And this equation is balanced. So when you have hydrogens like this or another type of atom spread out, it's a little bit more work. But either way, this is the balanced equation for C5H8O2 plus NaH plus HCl. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.